Hello, welcome to Big Bots, Little Bots, Unbox, and today we are unboxing a very special package from Zeus Republic of Gamers. Let's jump into it. Big Bots, Little Bots. I apologise in advance for my voice. So I got through to stage two, I'm pleased to say. And now for the next part, they kindly sent me this care package. There's also going to be a giveaway, so stay tuned. So this is what I'll be reviewing and unboxing today. And this is the ROG Delta S Wireless. Look forward to that. And as part of the giveaway, we've got a Republic of Gamers t-shirt. Republic of Gamers baseball cap. Some ROG luggage straps, a ROG lanyard, and a ROG notepad. Our little friends like this guy. Hello, I'm ROG Duck, and I have a competition for you. All of these Republic of Gamer goodies could be yours. Please vote for Danny at the link in his profile. Please read the rules on how to enter below, along with the terms and conditions. Thank you to ROG UK for supplying these as part of the ROG Pantheon competition. For those who dare. <laughs> He's essentially wearing them. Please don't have the microphone there. So, previous pairs. Republic of Gamers, I've got a few. I have also got these, which are the ROG Delta S Animates. They're a wired headphone. Another very good pair of headphones. But these are their newest. So let's have a look. So as with most Republic of Gamers products, they come in this nice, aggressive looking box. So you've got your holographic logo, you've got your red and your black, which are all the standard Asus Republic of Gamer colours. So on the box here, we can see it says it works with your laptop, PC, your PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, your mobile phone, and your tablet. I can test all of those, so I will. It's got a maximum of 25 hours battery life with a 15 minutes charge. You can have three hours. So it's great if you just want to quick charge. Now the ear cushions are clever, they're protein leather. No animals are harmed in the making of that, so that's good. It's got crystal clear immersive sound, exclusive 50mm Asus Essence driver, airtight chamber, then it's got a 20Hz to 20kHz frequency, so you can get a really good response rate from these. It's also certified for the PlayStation 5, TeamSpeak and Discord. Right, so let's open up the box and see what's inside. <clears throat> you got a nice Republic of Gamers logo in there. I never watch out these boxes, that's a problem. So you got a card, it says, Welcome to the Elite Republic of Gamers community. Your ROG Delta S series headset was designed and tested by professional gamers to immerse you fully in, in every thrilling experience. Get ready to rise up to the next level of gaming mastery. Game on. Well, there's that bit of foam there. You've also got some nice foam pad in there. Got this nice, there's rubberized packaging in here as well. Wow, these are very light. Without mentioning names, a famous rapper. It's brand heavier than this. That's impressive. I'll take a look at these in a second. And the box underneath. Got a USB 3 to USB C for charging. And then we have the instruction manual. All your warranty card. Silker gel. This is a USB C to 3.1 adapter. One of the good things that ASUS do. And it's not just on these, they do it with most of their headphones. They give you a pair of breathable headphone covers as well as your leverette one. If you get sweaty and you don't like the feel of this, then that's an option for you. I personally always stick with these. But again, it's an individual choice. There's a nice cushion in here. They're very lightweight, which I didn't expect because the ROG Anime, they're obviously a very similar build to these. They're very light, but I assume because these got batteries in, they would be heavier, but no. So on the bottom, we have got your 2.4 gigahertz, your off position or your Bluetooth position. You've got a USB-C charging port there. You've got a power button and you've got a up and down volume control there, as well as a mute if you push it. Now again, I've got this on the other public game headsets. On the Feta 7.1s as well, 
They've also got the same control switch. That's a really reliable design that they use across their brand there. Now this is full plastic construction. You've got ROG Delta F right there on both sides. On the top, you've got Republic of Gamers. You've got these bands here with, that are numbered, you know where to adjust to. And you've got the ROG logo either side. So the USB dongle is actually tucked away right here. And then at the front, you've got your AI beamforming microphones here. And it looks like a little light there. That's what these two little holes are. So they can block out 500 million types of background noise. So that's quite impressive for clear in-game communication. So if you're in a house like I am, where you've often got a lot of noise going on around you. Got my fish tank, got fan noise. You got the baby, pretty useful. And also if you're just out and about really, and using these connected to your phone talk to someone for example <laughs> so actually that's where these might be a good use case scenario is in like a gym if you're on the treadmill for example and you're listening to stuff a bit cooler to so just go over all the main points with these again you've got your low latency 2.4 gigahertz and bluetooth connection option and you've got your 50 millimeter asus drivers with an airtight chamber design to allow immersive sound ai beam forming microphones with the ai noise counter they're lightweight and they've got the ergonomic D-shaped ear cushion, long-lasting comfort and an extensive range of connectivity. So let's turn them on. So the first thing I'm going to test these out with is a laptop. So we're going to plug our dongle in. Switch to 2.4 gigahertz on here detected straight away so we're gonna head into armory crate and they've already been detected we're just gonna check for an update and yeah we got an update so let's get them updated they're updated so let's try them out in a game so we're just launching shadow of the tomb raider so the reason i've chosen shadow of the tomb raider is because in this location you've got a lot of immersive sound there's a lot of directional environmental sounds in here And as you can hear, those changes you turn around. If we go in the water. It was very immersive. And I've got no doubt from being in here, if you was playing an FPS, you'd be able to hear the directions of the footsteps that are coming in. On to the next test. But also, if you're interested in this laptop, I will be doing a video on this soon. These are pretty rare. Yep, keep your eyes peeled for the video on this. Definitely worth subscribing for. Also, another thing to note as I turn the laptop off, it told me that it disconnected. That's another smart function built in. So I'm gonna put a USB dongle in the bottom. It's come up on screen USB, so it's detected them. These have confirmed the connection. Yeah, sounds really nice and clear. So this is a really great option for if you're on the go. If you're someone that keeps their headphones on while they're out and about, and you just wanna put them straight in a bag, you can do that because the dongle is pretty low profile. They sound great, so. And again, it's told me it's disconnected. As you can hear, the PlayStation 5's powered on. So with the PlayStation 5, you need to use the USB-C to USB 3.1 adapter and then plug it into this back port here which is where they also recommend the PlayStation Pulse to be put so if you put that in there these have instantly connected every day I'll just try it on the Xbox doesn't say it works for Xbox but I thought I'd try my luck unfortunately I cannot get it to work these headphones do work with the dongle so if you want to play back your DJI RC drone footage on use the YouTube video trick that I show you in one of my previous videos you can listen to all of that through these wirelessly bonus. And just in case you still want more connectivity you can even connect to your Steam Deck via Bluetooth bonus Right so once you're in the armory crate, you click on devices, go to ROG Delta S wireless, and then once you're here, um, I've got it on listen device already so that you can hear me through OBS. 
side. You got these here. Got a mixer dashboard. You can open up the sound optimization, and you've got all these different profiles of reverb, different environments. You then got different equalizer profiles. You can put on virtual surround sound. Uh, Front, right. You can click Front, these. left. Isn't that the sound? Side, right. Rear, right. Rear, left. And again, with the virtual surround sound on, it does sound really good. Then you've got these options for bass boost, compressor, and voice clarity. you also got your noise gate control when the microphone might activate. So if you've got background noise, you can set that slightly higher to reduce that level we try that now. Hopefully you can hear a bit of a difference there. And then lastly, we've got the AI noise cancellation. That was on high. This is on low, medium, and high. You might not be able to tell that well because of how my voice is at the moment. But that will change the tone of your voice slightly as it filters out the background noises. So you've got your power management. You can select whether it notifies you when it's low battery. Select the sleep mode, so how long it will idle for before it turns off. And then your firmware updates. That's all there really is to know is there's no RGB in these. So while connected up to my iPhone, the listening experience and music was really good. Now, if you're a full on audio file, then these probably aren't for you. The bass can be a little bit lacking in places, but again, that's a personal preference. To the average person, they're a perfectly good listening experience. So I also just want to throw in that when Asus sent these out, they never are any bias in the review. They literally just gave you the details of what these are capable of, basically. This is a good product. I can highly recommend it. I think the only thing I'd really want to Im improve or change is maybe just get some RGB on here. What I'd love to see is a full animate display on these that you can do the designs and settings on your phone. So if when you're on the go, you can show off your ROG love. Or if you wore them to the gym, for example, you Team, but do not disturb. I'm starting to stream on this channel, it's still bad luck. ROG Pantheon competition I'm involved in. If this helped you out, please let me know in the comments below because that engagement really helps with my chances. Also, if you could, if you go into my profile on here, I'll leave a link below as well. There's a button on the link that will lead you through to be able to vote for me. The Republic of Gaming is Pantheon, which could be life changing for me because I recently left my job to do this this full time so that sponsorship would really help me that they're offering thanks for watching i've been danny it's been big box little box i'm bot and i hope you'll vote for me and i'll see you in the next one goodbye big box little box <laughs>